Hello Legends! In this video, I'm going to show you how to take any NAN workflow and then convert it to a really beautiful front-end UI using Lovable. Now, you've probably used Lovable before to build out your workflows, and the unique thing about this process is that I'm literally telling the Lovable agent to search my NAN workflows, understand how this specific one works, and then just build me a front-end for it. I don't have to say this is how the payload has to look. I don't have to say this is the URL you have to target. I don't give any information whatsoever. The agent can just read the workflow and then build for me. So this is made possible by two recent updates. The first update is that NAN introduced instance level MCP access, which means that MCP clients can discover your workflows, read details about them, understand if there's a webhook or what the webhook URL is, understand how to send data into the workflow, how to receive that data back. So it's literally a fully done for you service. You just tell the agent to build the front end and it does it. And this is also possible because Lovable has got a recent update where in their settings tab, you can go into integrations and they introduced a bunch of new integrations. And what we're taking advantage of today is Lovable's new N8N MCP access, which means that we give the Lovable agent MCP instance level access to our workflows. It can read the workflow, understand how to interact with it, and then simply build the front end for us. Okay, so now we're gonna see how everything works together. I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process of turning on the MCP, building out a new workflow, and then getting the Lovable agent to build out the front end for that workflow for us. So the first thing we wanna do is go across to our settings. And then on the bottom of the settings panel, we see this MCP access over here. If we click onto it, we enable the MCP access, and now we've got to plug this into Lovable. So over in Lovable, go onto your main menu, go onto settings, and then on the left-hand side, let's click on integrations. And let's go onto NAN and click on setup. Next step is connect. Back in NAN, we're gonna copy this URL and then paste it into here, click add server, and then approve this connection. So we're just gonna click allow and looks like everything is done. Awesome, connected successfully. Now, this is the first time that you're using Lovable and you don't have an account just yet. I'm gonna leave my referral link in the description of this video. So now everything on Lovable side is completely done. And as you can see, we have tool access to search our workflows, execute workflows and get workflow details. So back in NAN, let's just refresh this and make sure, there we go, the Lovable connection is set up. So now let's go back and build a workflow from scratch. So I'm gonna create a new workflow. Okay, so there's two things we've got to do differently in this workflow to actually get it allowed or opted in for the instance level MCP access. So I'm gonna show you that in just a second. First, I wanna build out that basic agent workflow that we had at the start of this video. So I'm gonna be using a webhook node. I'm gonna respond using the respond to webhook node. Let's bring our AI agent onto here as well. Let's get our chat node. There we go. And let's give this web search just to make it a little bit more exciting. And now on the uh, output of the agent, respond to webhook. I'm just gonna leave it as respond with the first incoming item. Now, the first thing we need to do here is, well, actually, let's give this a title. So I'm gonna call this AI agent chat. There we go. And we have this new button over here that says edit workflow description. This is where we actually have to define what this workflow does. Uh, just basically like when you're, whenever you're doing tool calling in NAN, uh, when you add a new tool, you always have to put a description against that tool to give the agent understanding of how it works and when to use it. So in the same way, we've got to do that here as well. So this is an AI agent, agent chat. Um, now, one thing we have to do is just explain how to interact with this workflow. So the MCP agent, the actual, um, the lovable agent will understand this is a webhook and how to get the webhook URL. But because the workflow can be very dynamic, like this agent would interact with just a message variable, but different workflows might expect five variables to be input into them. So you just have to explain how to interact with this workflow. And for us, what we wanna do is actually send a test request into here and just establish that initial parameter for us. So um, I'm gonna use this test URL and I'm gonna execute this workflow. Then I'm gonna create another workflow and just get a HTTP node to send a test request um, into that uh, webhook. So I'm gonna go test URL over here. I'm gonna send the body and I'm gonna say it's gonna be a message key and the value is gonna be high there. So let's execute this step. We come back into our agent. So we now need to configure the actual input for our AI agent to be this input message here. Let's just try and make sure we can get the response from the agent. Awesome. So now let's turn this back on. 
Let's resend this API call. And there we go. That's our response from the respond to webhook node. Hello, how can I assist you today? So now all we need to do is uh, write down here to interact with this workflow, send a message key. So when we're speaking about keys, uh, when you send a JSON payload, it's usually a key value. The key is the name that's static, that's always entered into the workflow. And the value is like dynamic. So that's like the dynamic input by the user with the user's input. And then I also want to say, and the output is just an output key with the response from the agent. So now I've just defined that this is an AI chat agent to interact with this, send in a message uh, key that contains the user's input. And then as the output, which is coming from this respond to webhook node, you get one variable and it's called output and that's the response from the AI agent. And now the second thing we have to do is activate this workflow. And once our workflow is activated, we can come into here, go to the settings, and now we can actually allow this for the MCP access. Once it's allowed, now it's discoverable by the lovable agent. And now across in lovable, I'm going to say, use my N8N MCP access and build me a front end for the AI agent chat workflow. So now the lovable agent's going to go ahead and access the N8N MCP tool. Um, it's going to ask us for permission to initially read the uh, workspace, read the workflow. So in just a second, we're going to be asked to allow this. Now we can change a permission to just always allow and click allow for this. So that first permission is to search the active workflows. Once it searches the workflow, um, it gets a list of all the workflows. It's now going to ask us for, um, hey, can I actually, I found the workflow that you're speaking about, can now actually get the workflow details. So for workflow details, I'm also going to say allow every time. And now the agent's going to be able to read that description that we had in the NAN workflow and understand um, this is what the workflow does. This is how you interact with it. And this is that response that you get on the output. It looks like the agent's already starting to build that front end for us. Okay, so it looks like the agent will be done very soon. Um, I think it's done creating and editing all the code for the files. There we go. Done. I've built a beautiful modern chat interface for your AI agent uh, chat workflow. Awesome. I'm just going to refresh the page and just pop that up. And here we have that preview. So let's test it out. Hi there. Hi, how can I assist you? What is the weather in Melbourne? And we should be able to use the web search from the AI agent. That was actually pretty quick. The weather in Melbourne, Australia is 26 degrees. So yeah, it was pretty warm today. So I know this was a simple example, but I wanted to showcase to you the entire process start to finish about how to use these two new features. So the NAN MCP for the instance level access then the lovable NAN MCP connection. So this, even though it's a simple example, is like so easy to build. On top of that, you can actually go back into these settings, go into this integrations tab, and there's actually a bunch more things that you can plug into your lovable apps. So Superbase, which is my favorite database for building backends for apps and automations. You have Stripe, so you can actually uh, take payments for your NAN workflows. So this is like a really easy way to actually build out a productized service based on your NAN workflow. And then a bunch of different uh, connectors as well, all used for um, helping your agent actually build better interfaces, apps, dashboards, whatever you need. If you guys actually want to see me do a proper technical build out of something really cool on Lovable using all these new integrations and features, comment that below and I'll create another follow-up video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.